Miss Pneumatic here. The pneumatic actuator that we will learn today is this lubricator. The lubricator is a lubrication system installed at the last step after the air clean unit, the filter, and the regulator. After the filter filters foreign substances of the compressed air and the regulator reduces pressure, the lubricator finally injects lubricating oil into the compressed air to help the pneumatic systems, such as valves and cylinders, operate smoothly. Then we will learn the benefits, structure, and principle of operation of the lubricator, and finally, learn about the precautions when using it. What are the benefits of using a lubricator? The lubricator lubricates pneumatic actuator by mixing fine lubricating oil with flowing compressed air. When lubricating oil enters pneumatic actuator, such as valves and cylinders, the friction on the contact surface during operation is reduced. When the friction is reduced, the durability of the product will become improved, won't it? In addition, the operation becomes smoother and the operation speed can also be improved. In the long run, the pneumatic line can be operated efficiently and the lifespan of the systems can be extended, resulting in reduced maintenance costs. Now, let's take a closer look at the structure of the lubricator. Looking at the upper part first, there is an oil rate adjustment needle. There is a drip tube to drip oil and a transparent drip window to check the dripping status. In the middle part, there is an inlet and an outlet through which the compressed air flows. A damper is located between the inlet and the outlet. Below that are a fixed orifice and a check valve. At the bottom, there is a bowl containing oil. There is an oil transfer tube that is connected from the bowl to the drip tube. In the lower part of the oil transfer tube, a filter element that can filter oil is installed. And finally, there is an oil inlet to put oil in. Based on the structure of the lubricator we have seen earlier, let's find out how it works. When oil is injected through the oil inlet, it slowly fills the boil of the lubricator. I will let the compressed air flow with the proper amount of oil injected. The compressed air enters the lubricator inlet, passes through the damper, and exits at the outlet. At the same time, some compressed air enters the bowl through the fixed orifice. The compressed air entering the bowl presses the oil down, and the oil flows into the transfer tube and reaches the oil rate adjustment needle part of the drip window. When the dripping amount of oil is determined by the oil rate adjustment needle, the oil drips down from the drip tube. The dropped oil is released by mixing with compressed air in the form of aerosol. The lubricating oil mixed with the compressed air reaches the target lubrication system according to the flow of the compressed air. Now that we know how it works, finally, let's learn the precautions when using the lubricator. In order to use the lubricator effectively, it is important to comply with various precautions. First, it should be installed as close as possible to the system requiring lubrication. If the distance between the system requiring lubrication and the lubricator is too far, the oil may not reach the system. In such cases, the systems not properly lubricated can operate slowly and wear out, causing failure earlier. Accordingly, the lubricator needs to be installed closer to the lubricated device to achieve its performance 100%. Second, the amount of oil must be properly adjusted. If the amount of oil is low compared to the required amount, as mentioned earlier, the system may not be lubricated properly. Conversely, if the amount of oil is excessive, 
the oil may leak through the exhaust port of the valve or the gap between the packings of the pneumatic system, causing environmental pollution. If the waste of oil continues, the cost loss could not be ignored. To prevent this, it is necessary to select a lubricator by calculating the required amount of lubricating oil and maintain an appropriate amount of oil at all times. Third, it is recommended to install it in a place with good visibility and easy maintenance. It is recommended to install it at a place with good visibility because it is necessary to check the oil dripping condition frequently and change the oil tank periodically. Fourth, the once lubricated pneumatic line must be lubricated continuously. When lubricating the valve or cylinder by installing the lubricator, the lubricant contained in the product seal or applied is washed away and lost. Therefore, it is important to note that once refueling is started, it must be continued. That's it for today. We've learned about the lubricator of the air clean unit. These days, as there are so many products to which semi-permanent lubrication treatment has been applied, it may not even use a lubricator. However, in the case of a pneumatic line that operates frequently, the lubricants inside the products may dry out easily due to frequent and repeated uses, so it is strongly recommended to use the lubricator. If you have any difficulties or questions in this video, please leave a comment below. Please press subscribe and set notifications. I'll come back with a better video next time. Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision.